I'm Corey. And Daniel with Joyous Voyagers. And thanks for joining the channel if you're new. We've been living in this for about two years. Time has gone by, it's flown by. We bought a homestead property, which you've seen probably some of our other videos. And in this video, we've just kind of been wanting to show everyone kind of what we've been up to in everyday life around our beautiful property that we've learned to love and enjoy the work on the weekends. Yes, um, lots of work, for sure. Yeah, lots and lots of work. And we'll have more uh, videos coming with what we've been doing with the chicken coop, finishing that. There's more stuff to show you. We built a compost, we're putting up the goat fences. Um, just a lot of that work we thought we're gonna get done in the summer, but we've been busy re-landscaping and planting evergreens and just doing all the stuff to make the property beautiful in the long term. We're gonna be headed to Florida for 10 days or so to visit her mom, headed to Cumberland Island and Jekyll Island on the coast of Georgia. Uh, we'll probably be doing some boondocking up in Blue Ridge and Jasper. And a, a little camp out in South Georgia. Yeah, we'll be going to South Georgia on one of the new state parks, some Native American mounds that they just created a state park for in Georgia, which is really neat. We'll be doing that with some of our fellow little guy Max campers, Brian and Laura. I also have some videos for some modifications on the little guy. We have lights to replace on the outside, the handle. We got a table modification. Yeah, we have a lot of mods <laughs> happening in the camper uh, soon, coming soon. But here, take a look at what a typical Saturday or Sunday morning. And just a typical weekend. Yeah. Even sometimes during the week, we, we get up yeah. pretty early, um, watch the sunrise. And so we always sneak in a good hour, hour and a half coffee morning out here, and just checking out the plants, making sure everything's growing, growing right, cleaning mm -hmm. out weeds and everything like that. We had a great harvest with our figs this season. And so yeah, check it out. sitting here I split it all y'all have seen those videos built this out of two by fours some leftover cinder blocks leftover shingles and roofing material this one's about halfway filled but I need to finish the roof but I think we're gonna have to get two more of these <laughs> because we're planning on dropping some trees but um yeah, so now when people come over to camp or we're going to a campsite, you can just grab some, some wood. Solid wind. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's awesome. He's very handy. I think I'll keep him. It was probably way too close. You said the other day. He goes chasing birds. Hey, look at that one. There's some good ones out there. They're getting some, getting fat. And there, some up in there too. Sadie, come here. Come, hound dogs. I love them, but man, their nose gets the best of them. She's out there trying to eat grass can't have that she pukes she has a very sensitive some very sensitive stomach Miko's trying to chase the rabbits we're just trying to pick figs so this I guess is our most plentiful ready this one's ahead of that one on, on uh, fruition and them being uh, right. ready to pick I turned into a fig picking pro working on that organic corn. 
I are moving to this farm. Like 50 pounds a day. There's a couple down here too. Ooh, there's a really purple one over there. Look at that, look at that one. Zoom in on that one, that one's pretty. Garden of Eden status. All right, so when you're plucking them, you put your thumb right there, push down. That's the best way to get it without the gunk. So it's starting to add up. First harvest. Dogs, inside. We have light. We are buried in the forest and we have light. <laughs> kind of feel like you're in a green cave. When you're picking figs in a tree that's big. Enough for today. Oh, we got so far. That's a good bit. Oh, poor guy. He's a hopper. Oh, man. <laughs> so, this is the other access point to this fig tree. It's wrapped around our barn and uh, tiny shed slash office. But we want to make this a neat little patio. Um, I've even almost thought about an outdoor shower if we made this like an Airbnb on the farm. Um, you could have this as a whole outdoor shower. It'd be pretty neat. But uh, So yeah, we have the wood pile being built. Leveling out a new RV site. I cut the field. Look at all these things. We have coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are a good month behind the other. Yeah, a very full tree. So another thing I wanted to ask any of the farmers watching this channel, what do you do for your apple trees? Do you have any apple trees to fight off insects and this yellow leaf fungus? See that? I've been picking these off. Um, we actually got these apple trees from Tractor Supply, and I don't know, they don't seem to be the healthiest. I've been using neem oil. I read you can mix, mix a solution of milk and cinnamon, and that helps fight off the pest and also gives the plant calcium, but I'm just wondering what else what everyone else uses. We've been putting neem oil, like I said, in that mixture. I mean, they have been growing taller, but I just wish they were fuller. And it seems like there's too many of these leaves dying. Like as soon as it grows, it dies. So you know what we're dealing with, let me know. I mean, the aphids destroyed this plum tree. It's fighting for its life as well. But you can see all the new growth. I mean, this is all dark purple. All these were. To see you can see it coming back so i think it's gonna be all right corey's looking at our pretty flower yeah i was watching the okay. yo <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we have these cow lilies we planted ken and lilies they're gonna take over this whole spot and then we have the irises, the white irises. This is another cockspur tree that's growing from over here. And this is one of those trees I showed y'all. Puts out these pretty flowers.
We have a boat. Yes, we do. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty time-lapsed video by the time you see this thing in action. Uh, I acquired a new project from Corey's uncle. Mm -hmm. This was his uh, first boat. Still runs, or he rewired it. There's some little issues, some TLC, but I'm gonna be recarpeting it, new seats, basically restoring a 1974 Glaston. Glastron? Glastron? Glastron. We were at a family gathering in Jasper. He offered to give me the boat. <laughs> so I showed he it to Corey. I didn't say no. <laughs> and I was like, why not? Our goal is to have our camper at the lake and bring the boat with the other truck and have some good lake days coming up next summer. But uh, what? Cool. what's your initial thoughts? You know, I I think it's cool. I think it'll be really cool. Yeah? Yeah. I, it's a project that I'm sure you'll enjoy working on. She said it's my project. <laughs> <laughs> but I have some really cool plans. I'll hop up in here and show you all. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, Seats will be replaced. I think I'm gonna take this out and replace it with um, some wood, like cedar or redwood and like seal it. I think I'm gonna do like wood grain inserts cause all this is just so worn out. And then we'll be redoing the front seats up here, redoing these, completely rebuilding them. This will be a great little project to do before the summer, uh, next summer. We are now in what month is it? October. October. So I have October, November, December, January. I got like six months to reupholster and rebuild the inside. The motor's pretty good. He said it might need a fuel pump and a carburetor. There's some little ch ch chips here and cracks, but I'm going to sand it down, probably repaint it. We'll see. Let's see what a little pressure washing does. I want to show you all the difference here. How grimy it all is, right? like people would see this and be like oh my gosh what are you getting into you have to have vision you have to have vision people How clean that is this is just the first pressure wash no uh paint this is where i kind of sm smeared it yeah big like, difference like look put the camera like right there So this will be today's project while it rains. I'm just gonna get the muck off it. Then you will see as we move through the winter, reupholstering seats, putting new carpet in, probably some engine work. My uh, cousin, cousin's husband, Mike, just got a new boat too for free. <laughs> we'll probably do some little engine work together on this carburetor. He's a diesel mechanic. So I just trust his guidance. Yeah. Boat life, here we come, right? It's been our leave, RV life, now it'll be boat life. But uh, it's raining, Corey's gonna run inside. Yeah. See y'all on the next episode. We typically just wanted to show what we've typically been doing. <laughs> typically, <laughs> typically. <laughs> Come on. We typically want to show what we typically You just moved past it. That was coming next. Now I gotta edit it again. 
Alright. <laughs>